Hey guys, that's Jaffrey at Good Lawn Care. Yeah, uh, you might see, is that gray or is that ice? A little both. Uh, man, it's cold out here. Uh, snow blowing. Stuff's hitting me in the face. Uh, the wind is whipping around. Anyway, we got hit probably, I'd say, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches. It's hard to tell. It's drifted a lot um, in places. Mm. But uh, anyway, we're doing okay. So, uh, just out doing some snow removal and I got a little footage here for you. Hey, uh, enjoy the footage. Before I get to that footage, you guys might be wondering, what is that on his hat? And my wife uh, got me this. She actually got me and the boys this for, um, for Christmas in my stocking. And uh, she got it on Amazon. I'll have to figure it out, but uh, it's got a light on there, an LED light, and then it gets a little brighter. And then when I'm driving down the road, I can pull over someone if I wanted to, I guess. Flashing red and blue. I don't know what that's really going to do me any good for. But if I'm out in the dark or something, doing a driveway and I need a little light, there you go. So that's what it is. Kind of cool. Um, it comes apart somehow, and you can change the battery out. But anyway, I'm going to show you that. All right. Hey, stay tuned for the footage. So here we have it. I already hit the snow blower into the pile a little bit, and it's pretty deep right in there. So any way to get it started, I kind of force it through there. It might be a little bit too much for it, but it does eat it through. It's just getting it through there. Uh, you're going to see in just a moment after I get through there, I'll take a shovel and kind of knock it down a little bit. Actually makes it easier. The snow is really pretty dry. Um, Although, with the amount of snow there, being two foot deep or whatever it is, maybe three even, some spots, um, it is easier to knock it apart with a shovel. So I take the shovel and I just do that, bust it up a little bit. It feeds through the snowblower so much better than trying to be able to force it in there. If it was a dual stage, it'd be no problem. I'd be able to shove it right through there, but just knocking it down a little bit, breaking it up, really helps it to be able to get in there so anyway that's what I do um, you can tell um, in this like I said it's probably close to two two and a half down there in that driveway you're looking at probably 10 to I'd say eight, uh, 10 to 12 inches 10 inches to a foot of snow um, my snow blower will the depth of it will go up to 12 inches and it's very close um, to the top of what it'll be able to feed in there as you'll be able to see the opening right there as you can kind of start to see the snow is pretty close to the top so probably 10 inches um, some places probably 12 uh, it just kind of depends we had a lot of blowing with this and uh, right here obviously yeah it was quite a bit more but uh, the snowblower pretty well handled like a champ. Um, it was missing a little bit again. I've always, like I said, I looked uh, at that carburetor in the last video and cleaned it a little bit. Um, it did not seem to help too much though. So anyway, I'm thinking I'll maybe just order a new carb. But um, I just have to play with the uh, choke a little bit and it seems like it still goes through fine. Um, it's just, uh, when I'm not running snow through it and it's kind of idling a lot of times it's uh, running rough but it didn't seem to have any problem with this at all but uh, anyway I take the shovel here bust the snow down just a little bit more and right there is where I'm playing with the carb trying to figure it out but uh, or not with the carb but with the uh, throttle there of the choke and messing with it but honestly I think it was running pretty good in this video here this morning and um, it seems like it didn't miss too bad so I don't know I did drain the gas tank even and I got everything out of there maybe it's just taking it a while now to cycle it back through but we'll see but yeah like I said very very powdery snow um, it really shot it very far um, especially yesterday while it was still snowing and it was kind of windy um, this is kind of the day after the storm. We are very fortunate because there's still snow very close in our area, just to the south. Originally, they were saying it was going to be a two-day event. Um, we basically had one day, but uh, 
I don't think I could have handled it all with my snowblower if it had been more than this. So we are fortunate for that. I probably would have had to go out in the middle of the snowstorm to be able to get through all this. But um, luckily I didn't. I was able to pretty much wait till the end. And um, the Honda did a great job. Um, I, I can't say that. I mean, this is the only snowblower I've owned. But um, I recommend it. I highly recommend this Honda. It just seems to have lots of power. It's light. It's maneuverable. Um, I'd like a dual stage, but I just feel like this is so easy to maneuver around and I feel like it's almost quicker than it would be if I had a dual stage. I don't know, maybe not. Um, definitely, if the snow was deeper, I, I'd be easier to eat through with a dual stage, but I feel like I can push this thing so quick um, and it, it pretty much sends through everything that um, you put it to. So anything that I can push through, it, it shoots it out and it just does a good job. The one big thing that helped a lot, though, I can tell you this, you can't really see it yet, but um, getting those new paddles on there, I was able to clean a lot closer to the concrete, and the big thing I notice is, like, right now, it's leaving stuff that's falling over, but I'm going to go back over that in the um, end of this video here when I get done, and it picks that stuff up. Now, a week ago before I replaced them paddles it would not what would happen was it would start to like throw it up in there and it seemed like it just gets stuck I think because it wasn't contacting the ground enough and there was uh, just too much space it would start to throw the stuff into the chute and then it would just plug up it seemed like now it seems like because it's touching lower it's able just to um, throw it all through there also I'm able to um, I'm, I'm able to uh, get closer to the concrete and so like if I tip this thing forward a little bit it'll kind of pull me a little bit and that's what I do at the end of this video where I get everything really really cleaned off and you'll see that here in just a little bit but um, yeah like I like I've said very impressed with this snowblower it's always been a great snowblower seems like it's always been able to uh, pretty much handle whatever uh, mother nature has thrown at us um, like I said, I do have to knock them drifts down sometimes, but uh, just, you know, get them knocked down, and um, it'll it'll take it. And the thing is, I mean, it'll, it'll still eat into those drifts. It's just the fact that you can't really push the snowblower in there because the snow is too hard. So that's why it's easier just to bust them up a little bit. But um, one thing that was kind of nice here on this property was uh, I start going up here... Um, on this porch area and uh, the lady you can't see it in this picture view here but they have a pretty good size oak tree in the front yard well it's finally lost a lot of them leaves and um, they've blown all over I never got a chance to clean them up because they didn't really probably come down until January when it got cold there I, I would did do some of them in December there was a little bit down but the majority of the tree was still up there but you're gonna see here in a moment as I go back and forth up there on that porch, it turns into a fall cleanup as well. Um, I hit a big pile of leaves and it really blasted them out of there and uh, that white snow turned to uh, dotted with brown. Um, so you'll run into that. Uh, usually it's not this late in the year when this happens, this late in the winter. Usually I face that in like in the December snows, but uh, with the oak being so late, Yep, I was able to hit a lot of those. So I think it's going to come up right here. Um, the snowblower, actually, I get, like, hung up on a little bit because they're kind of frozen in the ground, and it kind of, like, stopped me for a second. But uh, I really do uh, start hitting a bunch of them in here, and it really starts to kind of throw them. Like maybe there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. Um, not a lot yet, but there's more to come yet. But... Uh, no uh anyway we got a lot of wind in this storm and it's just been uh blowing everywhere even there's a bunch of leaves come out of there now it's even very uh windy in town i can't imagine um what it's been like out in the country it's got to be drifting pretty bad uh, i know i've heard on the news and just other sources they say you know don't drive if you don't have to uh in town it's not too bad the roads are roads are snow packed kind of um, but plowed pretty well now, but just still covered. Um, one thing I did notice, my truck has like no salt on it. So 
I think they were salting, but just with the amount of snow that's on the road, um, not like in a typical snowstorm where your truck just gets covered in salt or your car. So that's kind of nice. I did wash my truck the other day when it warmed up um, into the 40s and got all the salt cleaned off. But uh, it is nice to be able to get that off and not have tons of it on there. Usually when I go out in a uh, event like this, then my truck is just covered because I'm driving right in the middle of it. But I think with the roads, I think they were more just trying to get them plowed and not worried about the salt. The salt's not going to work that great anyway um, with all that snow on there. So, yep. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, footage. Um, just to give you a little idea of what it does. Here's where I come back pretty much and I'm going to do, I think this is it. I'm going to do a second pass here just to kind of clean this up. If, if this would have been the video... Um, from a week ago where you saw me it was leaving kind of stuff like that and I really wasn't able to go back over it much because uh, the snowblower wouldn't really pick up that stuff it was just too much too little of it where the paddles were worn so much that it couldn't really just pick it up very good here I go up there again and uh, hit some more leaves out of there and uh, you know blow them out of there and make a mess in the snow take away that prettiness and make it brown but yeah I'm gonna be uh, going back over this like I said I think this is about the the last of it here oh I guess I do have one more pass here and then I'll go over this um, one last time just real quick just to uh, make it cleaned up and make it look better and then you'll kind of see you know what it looks like after it's been done with brand new paddles kind of like having a new machine again um the only difference is you know that carb is still just a little bit running rough so like i said i'll probably just replace that but but yep i knocked down a little bit more of those uh drifts there and uh i think uh this is when i'm gonna you know kind of hit it here and get the rest of this off so anyway um Hope you guys like these type of videos. I kind of like animating them. Uh, this is kind of fun too, just real time footage of uh, how long this would take to do this driveway. Um, single car driveway, so I mean that's less than if it was a double one. And these double ones, uh, splitting them in half, and I went down the middle, and then I'd shoot both sides. Uh, this I split down the middle, and I'm shooting both sides, but. Uh, you're not shooting as much by the time you get to the edge. Sometimes when you get over the edge and you've picked up quite a bit more snow from what you've shot on top of it. So it does take a little, obviously longer, you know, when you have a uh, double wide. But this is probably taking about the same amount of time because I'm going over it twice as it would go over a double wide one once. And in a typical snowstorm, usually that's all I have to do is go over one time and it's pretty well cleaned up. But uh, right there, I think, you can see that path is cleaner than the one on the left of it. What I did was I started to tip the snowblower forward just a little bit and those paddles will kind of pull you along. Now maybe that's not that great of an idea to do because uh, they're probably going to get worn a little quicker. But they can only go down so far because of that uh, wear bar there. But you can see it really does clean it up quite a bit. Um, that's not good. Looks like I fogged up the camera a little bit with the snow. I wasn't looking where I was going and shot it on there. But you will be able to see here after I make a couple more quick passes that uh, I take the camera and I'll show you what the finished product looked like. So it did look really nice. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be able to get it down to the pavement like that because we do not uh, have much sun at all and I want to get as most of it as much and as most of it off as I can just because um, cold temperatures and this amount of snow on the ground it's probably not gonna melt too much for a while I mean I think uh, it'll melt off these driveways pretty decent but this is also uh, north facing so this driveway will not melt a whole lot but yeah, it's just good to get it off of there, especially um, before it turns to a sheet of ice also. But uh, this footage right now makes it look like, boy, you're drunk or something. I don't know, it's all blurred. 
but uh, I think the uh, water's melting off the camera probably and uh, looks like uh, I might be done so here's what it looks like came out pretty good all right guys well thanks for watching you guys hopefully the weather's a little better where you're at uh, stay warm it is cold out there and windy all right hey have a good one it's been driver good lawn care we'll talk to you later